Welcome back to Good Show Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix a blast screen on your Android phones and how to fix this app. So let's get started. So first thing, what you have to do is when you're having these kind of trouble, you have to try out some of the possible workarounds, which I'm going to talk about here. So the first thing is you just have to make sure that the buttons on your Android devices are not being jammed. So what you have to do is, as you can see, that mine is Huawei P30. Now these are the buttons on my phone, which is a volume up followed by volume down, then power button. So you have to check by pressing keep on again and again. The button is not button is working good. For example, sometimes for many reasons the button can be jammed. So if the button is completely jammed and the phone is off, I'll not be able to do the restart. So you have to make sure. So these are the issues. So you have to make sure the buttons are working good. So how you can check the buttons? You have to keep on pressing it once again and one one by one by one, and you have to check it's not jammed or it's working good by pressing. Like this. You have to check it is all good, right? I have to check in between the same way. I have to press and hold the power button whether I'm able to do the restart or not. This is what you have to do. So moving on to the next solution is all about you have to inspect the clean charging port. As you can see that due to many reasons, you know, your, your uh, charging port will be having dust and debris could keep your phone from charging properly and it will be having a lot of trouble. So once your charge bin is completely used up and each keep it for the charging and you are not able to get charged so you are having the black screen issue so in that case you have to make sure self that your charging ports are very clear so you can do this up by yourself or you can meet an expert and talk to them same way sometimes you know in our bare hands even if you check due to many reasons the dust and debris has to get in entered into it and it will be like bring a lot of trouble so we have already talked about this one how you can fix the same for the iphone we have already uploaded this and you can watch that video too i'll be providing a link in the description but you can go for it moving on to the next solution is all about you have to make sure that your battery is keeping good because sometimes you know when you before the black screen you have to see whether you have to notice an unexpected thing like your battery is draining so fast and you'll be definitely having the issue so in that case you have to make sure self that your batteries are good right you have batteries are good and you know it's it's working all good like you know you have to check because due to some reasons on the batteries like which for for a long period of time imagine that so you're basing the same battery for three years definitely they'll be having a lot of issue so if the battery is not good enough the battery is completely used up then you will not be able to charge it up and you will not be able to use the phone so that's what the reason when it happens so you just have to make sure the battery is good so you have to charge it once again and see whether the issue is solved or not because you have to make sure the battery is charging or not if you charge for you'll be definitely knowing that so you have to do that part too and moving on to the next solution is all about you have to check whether you are having any kind of issues on the lcd like on the display if it is fallen from your bay hands or if you're if, if you're a mother or if you're father of two sons or daughter you have to make sure stuff that's not falling from their hands or unexpected things or cracks or no, no things are being here you're having a protective screen uh, i mean uh, the screen guard and definitely you have to remove it and you have to see because i have mentioned the same method in one of the video and how to fix proximity sensor on android by removing the all things for many it worked and truly really helped so sometimes you know the lcd can be an issue so you just have to check whether it's not working or not so this is what you have to do moving on to the next solution is all about these are some of the basic steps what you have to try because the next one is all about you have to do a force restart because i have already done a video on force restart you can force restart any android by pressing over here on the volume done volume down button press and hold the power button for a short period of seconds hardly for 10 seconds so definitely your system will be i mean your phone will be like a force restart and see whether the issue is solved or not in most cases this has to be fixed a simple restart for the android devices as well as for the iphone for ipad for any electronic devices sometimes a restart can fix the issue up so this is what you have to do and moving on to the next solution i would like to make a notice is the last and the least one which i would like to make a notice even if, if you are able to remove the battery from your phone you have to remove the battery and you just have to wait for hardly 30 seconds to two minutes you can keep a duration over there and try the battery once again back to the android and charge it and see whether the issue is solved or not most probably this has to be helped and these are the basic steps which you have to try when you're having the black screen on your on your android right now for me it's not an issue it's there is no issue with this but you have to try out when you're having this issue and most probably this will be helping you guys out and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out